Robert has been giving me dreams about and I feel that it's weighing on his heart and it's, it's been about a week since I had these dreams and I've been pondering them and then I have seen more videos it seems like about this topic so I just thought I, I need to bring it to you all uh, to make it a matter of prayer. All right, so uh, January 16th and 17th, um, two nights in a row, I was given dreams about, okay, it's called geoengineering and, uh, you know, the technical term, but uh, for layman's terms, many of us hear chemtrails, okay? And I, uh, two nights in a row, was given dreams about these chemtrails. And in the first dream, I was going into like a courthouse or some type of administrative building and I was bringing this to the attention of the administration and uh, trying to get this stopped. The second night I was up on uh, a cliff or something where I could see the chemtrails really well and, um, in, the dream, and in the dream my husband was with me and all of a sudden this drone came over and I took the drone and threw it but my husband ended up getting deathly ill in the dream and had to go to the hospital. And so I went to find him in the hospital. And when I found him, it was like he was trying to get all these IVs taken out of him. And, and he was, we were trying to get him out of the hospital. It was like almost like he was uh, forcibly taken to the hospital. All right. <clears throat> and then the third night on January 18th, I was given a dream and I don't know if you've heard of Andy Firecharger he has a YouTube channel does a lot of uh, videos about prophecy and, and different things like that but in this dream okay Andy Firecharger was shooting a video and he was in a boat going up um, the coast uh, in the Pacific Ocean and he was pointing out all the damage that Fukushima had done to the wildlife uh, the sea life and to the waters um, you know, he's just bringing attention to that. And so, you know, after this third dream, I'm just, I was really like confused. I'm like, Lord, I know people are bringing attention to these things. So I'm not really sure why I'm having these dreams. Uh, so as I prayed about it, my sense is that the Lord wants the body of Christ to be praying about these things because they impact us directly. Uh, the, this geoengineering, uh, these chemtrails, it was a year and a half ago that the Lord gave me a dream about this. And in the dream, basically what I was shown is that this covert, these covert activities with this geoengineering were killing people. All right. And when I woke up, I basically just prayed and I was like very upset because, um, you know, at the time I was working for the federal government and in the dream, it was like I was a part of it because of where I worked. And so I said, I said, Lord, I said, they're killing people and I heard very clearly yes and so it wasn't long after that the Lord was very clear that he wanted me to resign and I'm not saying that there aren't good people in the federal government it's just I believe he had a different call for me um, you know so that's one of the main reasons from that dream that the Lord brought me out of uh, service to the government but this is going on and I just listened to a video by Alex Jones today uh, where it caught my attention because it said about the geoengineering and the chemtrails will President Trump do anything about this and so as I listened to his video he was talking about uh, one of the callers was asking about it and Alex Jones was clear this is he's from Infowars in case you're not familiar with him I'm sure you are but um, he was clear that the president is aware of this and he said the next time he talks to Mr. Trump, President Trump, he is going to ask him about this. And so I thought, wow, this is, uh, this is something we need to be praying about. We need to be asking the father uh, to put this on the heart of the president to bring this to an end. Um, I am not an expert on this and I can't say that I know all the damage that these things, these chemtrails do to our environment. I have listened to a few people who sound like experts on it and and it's very bad what it does to us um, physically and what it can do to the what it's doing to the environment and for whatever reason I don't know if you see chemtrails where you live but I look up in the sky I've got pictures of them and I mean it's it's so clear that this is not natural these things that what is appearing in the skies that they're not clouds and 
I have been praying about it and um, and just asking the Lord for protection from these things. And I encourage you to do the same. At the same time, I feel like we need to be in prayer that our, our leadership will bring an end to this, that, uh, you know, we will no longer, this will no longer be permitted um, because it is very, very damaging and it's weighing on the heart of the Father. So um, I just hope you'll make that a matter of prayer.